What's up everyone, Jay and Derek here from Tap and Turn Gaming coming at you with another matchup in our Tribe Wars tournament. Uh, this matchup will be my ghoul caller, Jissa, Gisa, whatever. I know someone will correct me. Gisa G. <laughs> G. Ghoul caller G. Lady Gaga. <laughs> Just call her Lady Gaga. You know, oddly enough, she she probably could pose as Lady Gaga. Yeah, she probably yeah. could. She probably could. Anyway, uh, yeah, Ghoul Caller up against uh, Tribal Zombies, uh, up against Carador Ghost Chieftain in his tribal spirits. So let's roll a die. 19. 5-5. Five, five. I guess the zombies will go on the shamble. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> <clears throat> Keep this. Uh, it's not terrible, but it could be better. But I'll keep it. I'll go with an Urborg in the past turn. Draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with an Evolving Wild. That's <coughs> also a swamp. Yep. Passive. Uh, on your turn, I'll, I'll crack it. Crack it. I'll go with a swamp and a Oversold Cemetery. Pass after you're done. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with a planes and then we're going to uh -huh. go with a spirit bonds. Uh -huh. Pass turn. Another swamp. And we'll go with an extra planar lens. Exile this, I suppose. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Thinking. That uh, since all my lands are also swamps, that I get the double mana, but it's specifically lands named swamp. Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, but I'm gonna go with a nothing for turn. All right, so I'm just gonna go with a Celestial Sanctuary, bouncing my planes, uh -huh. and I will pass to you. Caretaker. Fair enough. Here go. Back out my plans. Oh wait, I cheated. Why is that? Because this doesn't tap for two. Oh okay, yep. Yeah. So I don't play a Hell's Caretaker. I play nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go off the fact that you have the herb box and my guys are swamps. Uh -huh. and tap this for a black and then white green. To go with a Tesa, and I will pay the one to get a 1 1 white spirit. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna kind of slide under her so I know it's her, but a 1 1 white spirit, because that's what she produces, anyways. And I will pass to you. <laughs> now I can play him. <laughs> <laughs> oh! for a skin render and put three minus one minus one counters on her. Too bad I'd have one more spirit. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. She's dead. Uh, your go. She doesn't have any <coughs> secondary spirit. Oh, if I had the mana, I could have made her indestructible. It would have mattered. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. And then 
for an Infernal Kieran. And I'll pay the one to get the one 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 spirit. What does that guy do? Uh, whenever you play a spirit or arcane spell, a target player reveals his or her hand and discards all cards with that spell's converted mana cost. Mm. It's like a shot in the dark because I don't know what you have, but it's pretty cool. Now we'll pass turn. Go with a vengeful pharaoh. That's uh, he has death touch, and whenever somebody hits you. Whenever someone hits me or a planeswalker, if he's in my graveyard, I destroy target attacking creature and then put him on the top of my library. Okay, so he has to be in your yard to do that? Yes. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> Combat. Sure. So you got two, just the one spirit or? I have, I have oh yeah, you I did it two, off yeah. of him too. Sorry, I have two currently. <clears throat> I'll swing in with him. I'll take the three, fam. Okay. Go to 37. Your go. Two, three. I'm going to cast Ruin Ghost, so you have to reveal your hand. Discard everything that costs two. Nothing. Profane command. Oh, yeah, profane commands too, yeah. Well, that's not bad, I guess. <coughs> and I paid the extra one to get the, the spirit. Uh-huh. Pass turn. Go with four for a mutilate. All creatures will get minus three, minus three. I only have three swamps. Yep. yep, 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 yep. <coughs> um, I have a response. I'm going to plan cycle my eternal dragon. Okay. <laughs> so he dies. My vengeful pharaoh does not die. What's he like? Up? He's a five four. So right now he's a <laughs> he's a what a two one. Yeah. Uh, let me get the outlines. Oh, are you going to go to combat? Yeah, I guess I'll go for two. Alright, so I'll go to 35. <coughs> I'm searching for my goblin shrine since it's a plains. Uh -huh. I can't find it. <laughs> it's going to be like the last card. Per usual. It's always near the end when you need to find it, right? Basically. I mean, unless it's in your hand and you don't realize it. <laughs> Don't say that. What? There it is. It goes into my hand, but you can see it. Yep. Skis for two. Yep, so I go to 35. Yep, here you go. Uh, I will bog you. Mm -hmm. oh, excuse me. Go for four and cast Carador. So I'll just go ahead and pay two more and go with bring back the Ruin Ghost. Uh-huh. And uh, <coughs> pass turn. If I didn't have that extra planar lens, this game would be very grim for me. <laughs> Four 
four, five. Bring in the ghoul, lady, ghoul caller. Bring in Lady Gaga. Bring in, bring in ghoul caller Gaga. <clears throat> um, combat? Yeah. It's a five foot death touch, right? Mm hmm. Five's good. I go to 30. Uh, main two. Illusionist bracers. Here we go. <coughs> I guess I'll go with a field of souls. Uh -huh. Now, whenever a guy dies, I get a spirit. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, sure thing. <laughs> to pay a black tap her, sack him, get five two twos, and then I'll copy, so I'll get ten. Mm-hmm. That's pretty scary. So I have one black floating, which I don't think I can really do anything with. <laughs> oh, I have... Yay! <laughs> um... That's all I got. I can't do anything else. So pass to you, sir. <clears throat> you can go with my God the Shrine tapped, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Alright, plan one. <laughs> Wrath of God. <laughs> I don't know what, why you thought so hard about that for. Because uh, I was in my head, I wanted to do. I wanted to get something else played beforehand to make that better for me, but I don't have the mana for it. Uh, oh, so. you were thinking making dudes indestructible with yeah. that somehow? So he's gonna he's gonna deuce on him. As does Lady Gaga. And I only net two spirits because Carado went to the command zone, not the graveyard. It's a replacement effect. Mm -hmm. So I will pass turn. <clears throat> that was uh, less impactful than I'd hoped, but <laughs> I, got, I did kill twenty-one of your guys. So or, yeah, that's true. Sorry, yeah. eleven because they were the twenty power. Two relentless dead. I heard he's pretty relentless. Yeah, he's not bad. <clears throat> uh, four. Hell's Caretaker. Mm -hmm. Pass turn.
I'm gonna go with Myojin of the Cleansing Fire. Uh -huh. And then I'm gonna return my Bajuka Bog in my hand for a Golgari Rock Farm. Uh -huh. I should have probably play, tapped this for mana, but I'm a noob, so. <laughs> Well, at least you realized it, so someone doesn't have to tell you in the comments. Then a noob. Pass turn. Noob. Uh, for the <clears throat> sake of putting it on there, this is his divinity counter. Okay. Can you just freely remove that? Yep. What, was it blow up all other creatures? Yeah, plague winds, pretty much. Well, not the plague wind, but similar. Okay. Uh, untap. Cleanses. Upkeep. Tap him, sacrifice him. Uh, which is going to target him, so he'll come back. Mm -hmm. um, I'll use his ability to pay the black to return him to my hand. Makes sense. Draw my card for my turn. So I no longer have that. Actually, I probably should have used a different. Name. I'm going to use it differently. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Hope you don't mind. Because that will not persist through my upkeep phase or into my main phase. The floating mana. for the dead again. Relentless dead. Gets, he enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it for each zombie card in my graveyard, which is zero. <laughs> but whenever I cast a zombie spell, I get a 2-2 black zombie token on the board. Mm -hmm. So that's not terrible. Um, and then I will pass the turn. Uh, I'll remove his counter mm -hmm. to cleanse the <clears throat> fire. <clears throat> Uh, I'll return him to my hand. Yep. Cleanse with fire. And there's also 4 6, so it's pretty cool. And I will cast my Bajuka Bog. Does he fly? No. Really? Yeah, he doesn't fly. Oh, I thought he flew. Why well, Bajuka Bog you? That makes it better. <laughs> Got you for four. Mm -hmm. My phone died. So I'll put me at 36. I'm at 30. And then we'll <coughs> go with a. A Genesis wave for seven. Let me make sure this is right. So you yeah. have green, green, green. There's my three green. Mm -hmm. So one, there's the one X. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you had a swamp in there? Just one. <laughs> so one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. It's all cost less, right? Excellent. Is it? <coughs> okay, yeah. Excellent less than he costs seven. They all come in together. 
Custodial Soul Bond just enters the battlefield. X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is the number of other creatures on the battlefield. So he comes in with four, because you got no guys at the moment, right? Uh-huh. Put a plus one plus one counter on each other creature I control. Open, I draw a wrath. I did. Five, nine, fifteen. Six, seven. <coughs> I want this dead. <laughs> Pass turn. Angel Flood Alabaster. <coughs> oh, does she let you take a spirit back? To your hand, yeah. Well, it's not like you particularly need it at the moment. Sage. Uh, pay the white to get a one one white spirit. Spirit. Uh, draw a card off my primordial sage. Go to combat. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just those three. Yeah, I can't stop any of it. So it's eight. F no, sorry. Yeah, eight, fourteen, no, eight, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Mm -hmm. And I get two, three, three white spirits. <coughs> so I have a three, three. Go to 21. And a three, three. Uh, pass to you. I devote 
devotion to black is definitely five. five. So he is a guy at the moment. So I guess we'll put him here. Uh, I'll pay two. Go to 19. Draw a card. Go to 17. Draw a card. Guess I'll play a land for the turn. <laughs> Go to 15, draw a card. Well, at this point you win, because now I'm at 15, you get 15 power in the air. Even if I draw a Wrath, I can't cast it, so you win. Okay. Alright guys, so that wraps up this gameplay of Zombies vs. Spirits with Carador and his spirit army coming out on top. So uh, in a moment you'll see the update to the battle board. So thumbs up the video if you did enjoy it uh, leave us some comments of what you thought and such and if you're not already subscribed to tap and turn gaming please crush that subscribe button we really do appreciate it this has been jay and derek with tap and turn gaming thanks a lot for watching we'll catch you later